don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, before I start today's news, breaking news, breaking news, you know Manchester United have announced Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as their next permanent manager since he came in. There have been some very great performances for Manchester United and he has been given the permanent job. As usual, I'm your host, Selassie Fiawi. Welcome back to the channel. What an amazing weekend and week of international football. The Ghana Black Stars took a part in some fixtures and Coach Messi Apia has revealed a few things to the media after the Mauritania clash, most notably. It appears he has closed the door on Kevin Prince Barton, call up to the Black Stars. I'll let you guys watch the video and what he said. I'll also be talking about him again and he says he knows his team for the AFCON 2019. The Ghana under 23 side, their opponents for the final round of qualifiers has been reviewed. And I'm going to tell you about how they escaped a plane crash on their way to Gabon. So as usual, boy, it's a fine morning here. As usual, I'm your host, Silas Fiawi. Welcome back to the channel. What an amazing weekend and week. Yeah, so as we are all aware, I've done a lot of videos here on Kevin Prince Quarting and being, him being called up to the Black Stars. It's quite obvious most of you are in favor of Kevin Prince Quarting getting a call up back to the Black Stars. Along with Sule Muntari for some of you as well. But on, on, on Tuesday, after the game against Mauritania, Coach Kosiapia was queried on this. And the answer he gave looked like the door had been shut on Kevin Prince Boateng. He said that they needed to apologize. Yes, that's what he said. And that they needed to apologize to Ghanaians. So let me read the story to you right now. The story says, now, head coach of the Black Stars, Kosiapia, has no plans of recalling Kevin Prince Boateng to the squad ahead of the Africa Cup of Nations to be staged in Egypt. Now, Apia is unfazed about the constant call of Ghanaians concerning the return of the Barcelona player into the team. The 32-year-old was suspended from the national side alongside Sule Montari after the 2014 FIFA World Cup debacle. Now, it was reported that Kevin had used some vulgar speech on the on coach with Apia leading to his dismissal. The former AC Milan star came out with a response that he had done nothing wrong to merit the suspension and is yet to apologize for the action. Now, despite Kwesiapia's comment in the media that Kevin should apologize and get a call up, sources close to the coach fears his return could cause some disharmony in the team due to his character and ego. The inclusion of the Barcelona forward has been a debate among fans as they are divided on the subject. Of whether to call him for the Afcon or not. The Sassuolo player on loan at Barcelona has only featured in two games since joining the Catalan side. So that is it with Kevin Prince Boateng and uh, Coach Kusiapia. Coach Kusiapia here is saying that Kevin Prince Boateng has to apologize. Let's go have a look at the video in which Coach Kusiapia said, White Paper Commission said that he and Sule Montari need to apologize before if they are playing consistently he will call them up let's go have a look at that video i think um, it's got to do with uh, in his case uh, this white paper is uh, an federal commission yeah i think um, there was an issue that uh, sule and kevin should apologize to the nation you know, before they can be invited back to the national team. And then um, I said that he is a good player because um, when I took over, he was playing for Susan. Yes. And then I said, if he takes a step, then I will have opportunity to invite him. Then he will play for all the hands to assess whether he is still, he can be of help for us. But if that is not done earlier and we finish playing our, all our games before the outcome, then it will be really difficult to give him a call up. You know, so um, that's the situation now. Yeah, so that was Coach Kesiapia that he said Kevin and Sule have to uh, apologize to Ghanaians. Do you guys want an apology? 
let me ask you let me just put that question out there do you guys want an apology from kevin prince Martin as coach pcapia is suggesting he says um, kevin and sule need to apologize to Ghanaians. then if they are playing consistently and he will consider them because it's the team is not for him and also he said that that is not done early and they play all their friendlies and all their warm-up games it might be difficult to call them back into the black stars so basically coach Chris Yapi there is saying this has to be done quickly the players have to apologize I understand Sule Montari has already apologized but he is not playing regularly for his club he even struggled to get a club recently he's in Abesete Ballon Pier now Kevin Prince Boateng do you guys want an apology from Kevin Prince Boateng I'm putting the question out there but I also have another food for thought for coach Chris Yapia as I said earlier 75% of the players 24 players he called are not playing regularly for their clubs so that case of regularity might not be something that will hold water with coach Chris Yapia. What, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But coach Chris Yapia there saying that Kevin Prince Boateng needs to apologize to Ghanaians. Do you Ghanaians want an apology? So I'll move on to my next story. I'll move on to my next story still on coach Chris Yapia. And he says he knows his squad for AFCON 2019. Now, this is the story. So Black Stars coach Chris Yapia says he knows his final squad for the Africa Cup of Nations, which is just a few months away. Now, selection of players for the AFCON will be a major subject of attention when the competition draws nearer. However, Kwisiapia seems to have his final squad known to him, which he confirmed at the post-match conference on Tuesday. Ghana defeated Mauritania 3-1 in an international friendly at the Accra Sports Stadium. Kwisiapia, Kaleb Kuban, and Thomas Partey were the goal scorers for Ghana, whilst Ba Adama got the consolation goal for Mauritania. According to the coach, he has been impressed with some of the players invited to justify themselves in the two games played against Kenya and Mauritania. Apia gave all invited players a chance to play against Mauritania with the exception of some senior players in order to assess them. Now, Kalebu Kuban, who made his debut against Kenya, as well as being one of the outstanding performers in the two games played, he has registered two goals in two appearances for the Black Stars. Kusia Pia has handed, has handed call ups to Ghanaian players as part of his agenda of building a new team for the future, which he believes enabled him to get his team for the tournament. The Black Stars will get to know their group opponents on April 12. So Coach Kusiapia there is telling us he knows his players. He knows the players he's going to use for AFCON 2019. It will be interesting to see which group Black Stars are placed in on April 12th. You know this channel will bring you the draw. I can't wait for April 12th to get to know who the Black Stars will be facing. It will be quite interesting then. Ghana have beaten um, Ghana beat, after Ghana beat Mauritania, all players he called up were given a chance to play in that Mauritania game and I think it's a great way for him to assess the players and know which ones to finally select. So to my next story is about Ghana and the 23 side. They beat Gabon over two legs. The first leg was in Ghana here. They beat them 4-0 and went to Gabon and drew 0-0. But before I get to that story and their opponents will face in the next round, I'm going to tell you about the accident or the plane crash they escaped on their way to Gabon. Yes, they escaped the plane crash on their way to Gabon. So the story says here, the Ghana under 23 side, the Black Meteors, have arrived safely in Gabon for the return leg of the under 23 qualifier, but not without scary moments after their flight failed to land in Gabon on arrival. Now, with a contingent of 33, Ghana would have been thrown into a state of national mourning after the ASCII airline on which the team was traveling could not land due to bad weather. The flight kept hovering over the airport in Gabon for two hours but could not land. Now, following the scary moments, the pilot was forced to move to Cameroon for a safe landing while waiting for a message from Gabon before returning. The contingent spent an extra hour at the airport in Duolo and Douala before finally returning to Gabon where they were able to land safely in their second attempt. In an exclusive chat with Football Made in Ghana, 
head coach Ibrahim Tako revealed the ordeal of the team and how scary the experience was. This is what he said. We arrived in Gabon safely, but very scary. We were in the sky for almost two hours, but couldn't land because of bad weather and had to go to Douala, Cameroon, instead of Libreville, Gabon, and wait for more than an hour before trying again. Thank God for traveling mercy. We, were, we are now in our hotel here in Ghana. As you all know already, two point cap one and drew zero zero, and they are through to the next round of the uh, under 23 qualifier. This will qualify them for the AFCON under 23 championship as well as the Olympic Games in 2020 next year. So, this is really important. And our next opponents are Algeria. Yes, we'll face Algeria next. This is the final qualifying round after we beat Togo. We beat Gabon and now it's time to face Algeria. This is going to be a really tough test against Algeria. So the story says here, the Afcon under 20 Ghana to face Algeria in the final qualifying round. Now it says Ghana will face Algeria in the third and final qualifying round of the under 23 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier in June. Now the Black Meteor sealed their place following a 0-0 draw with Gabon in Libreville to advance from the second qualifying round 4-0 on aggregate. Algeria on the other hand eliminated Equatorial Guinea 3-1 on aggregate after a win at home in the return leg. Ghana will host the North Africans on 5th June at home and the return leg is in Algiers four days later. The winner will join six other teams and host Egypt for the final tournament slated for November 8th to 22nd. The Africa Under-23 Cup of Nations will serve as qualifiers for the 2020 Olympics game in Tokyo, Japan, with the top three teams set to secure tickets for the World Championship. Ghana has not qualified for the Under-23 African Championship since it was introduced in 2011. In the Olympic for the Olympic Games, the Black Meteors have been absent since the first round birth at the 2004 gathering in Athens, Greece. So that's it with the under 23 side. There, they are going to face Algeria. We wish them the very best. 5th of June, they will play Algeria at home, then play the return leg four days later. I think they will do well. I, I believe in this squad, they are really a squad of great great players and i am really confident in this under 23 side so that has been it for today i bring you updates on coach kosia pia and kevin prince watching tobacco along with sule montari it seems kosia pia has shut the door on kevin prince water returning to the black stars he says if it doesn't happen on time if the apology doesn't apology to Ghanaians doesn't happen on time he might not have a chance to call them back into the stars and what do you guys think about us i asked you earlier do you guys want an apology let me know your thoughts in the comments box i'll be bringing news on the under 23 side as well they will face algeria in their final qualifying round to the african cup of nations under 23 version which will take place from november 8th to 22nd this year that has been it for today i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day